Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what are your person's true feelings, intentions, and motivations for this connection. It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here, where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and see what is it that, what is it that your person feels for you. Bottom of the deck, you've got the High Priestess here. Okay, so I feel like, um, to me, it feels like this is someone who is maybe a little bit emotionally guarded here. Okay, someone who uh, maybe to you is a bit of a mystery that you're still yet to solve and figure out. This is someone who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, so they're not very emotionally expressive. I do feel like they uh, are draped in heavy emotional armor, and I feel like this is someone who is, they don't easily... Um, vocalize themselves and what they're feeling here but I feel like the actions pretty much do the talking okay so if you watch for what they do it will be a very good indicator of just how much you know just how genuine they are and just how invested they are in this connection here uh, I also feel like with the high priestess energy they can be a bit of an icy figure so they can sometimes come across as emotionally detached and emotionally aloof here um, but I feel like this is just like a their outer shell. This is just the kind of vibe that they project, okay? I do feel like this is someone who is invested in this connection. They're invested in building a connection with you and growing a connection with you and getting to know you. They do have feelings here. They feel an emotional closeness to you. But I feel like this is someone who is a little bit guarded, a little bit closed off, and they're just a little bit scared of being vulnerable and feeling, you know, all of those emotions here. The chariot tells me that this is someone who wants to move on or move forward from something or they want to move forward with you. So if you have had some sort of disagreement, some spat, something here, I feel like this person wants to fix something, okay? They want to maybe fix what it is that they said or done here, make it right here, and they want to move on from it. So this isn't someone who wants to dwell on it. They don't want that same issue to resurface here. And they know that if, if they ignore it, it's only going to mount up and it's only going to come back later. So this is someone who, they just want to fix something here. They want to fix something. They want to make it right. It could be that they're wanting to apologize here. It could be that, you know, they want to explain themselves. They feel like they need to, maybe they feel like they need to work on themselves so they can become a better version of themselves for you. Maybe this person feels as though you make them be become a better man or become a better woman purely because of your energy, okay? And they strive to be a better version and a healthier version for you and for this connection. Um, but I am seeing that this is someone who is wanting to work on something. They want to build on this connection, okay? So even if this person isn't very, like, mushy, very lovey-dovey, I do feel like this is someone who wants to improve themselves for you. It, you know, any bad qualities, any bad habits here. Uh, they definitely want to make themselves a healthier and a more happier version for you and for this connection here. And yeah, if you guys have had some sort of fight or some disagreement or just... If you've gone through something recently, I do feel like this person very strongly wants to move past it. Okay, but it's not like they want to just, you know, build a bridge and get over it. It, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like they want to address whatever the issue is. So they want to... It's like they don't only, only want to fix the symptoms, they want to fix the root of it, which is really good. And I feel like this in itself is a clear indicator that this is someone who wants to work with you. And this is someone who's going to make a really good like partner and a really good like teammate, I guess. Um, Eight of Pentacles as well. If this person is building a home... If this person is renovating or building a home, then I feel like this is someone who maybe sees you. I feel like this is someone who sees you possibly coming to live with them one day. 
to move in with them. So I feel like they may be doing it with you in mind or with the thought that, hey, the two of you might potentially live in this home one day. So if they're doing any renovations or building a home here, I feel like, you know, that thought stays with them here. Also, if you're dating like a carpenter or a builder here, a chippy, then I feel like this is someone who will want to build a home for the two of you together in the future, okay? I also feel like this is someone who's working on working on something, but either with you in mind or this is someone who's working on something to gift you. Uh, now with the Four of Pentacles energy, this is where I'm seeing that with your person's energy, there is some sort of insecurities or some behavioral patterns that I feel like might get in the way of this connection. So they could be like insecurities. They may feel not good enough for you. And this is why they constantly want to, you know, become a better version of themselves for you. They may know that they have some bad habits or some bad tendencies or vices that they need to work on. You may have even pointed these out um, to them in the past. But I feel like there is some insecurities that if they do not address them and if they do not work through them, I feel like they could hinder this connection here. I'm also seeing that there could be some insecurities, like for example, like a, a sense of jealousy or possessiveness um, that they may project in this connection. And also like, for instance, there could be someone who's a little bit suspicious here. So naturally, they may have been like betrayed in the past or cheated on. So naturally this person, you know, feels a little bit suspicious. So they have trust issues. I just feel like they're a little bit, and this is why they're closed off. This is why they, you know, they aren't such an open book and why this feels like more of a slow burn connection. That's the other thing I want to mention because of the suit of pentacles here and the suit of cups. This is a slow burning connection. This is someone who wants to take their time. Okay. There's no indication whatsoever that this is someone who wants to rush the process. They want to take the time. They want to build on this connection. They want to get to know you here. I feel like there is something that they feel like they have to do with their career first, achieve certain career goals or aspirations before maybe the two of you could elevate the status of this relationship. Um, so for instance, before you could move in together, maybe this person wants to get sign a certain contract, secure a certain, I don't know, business deal. There's something that this person wants to do, or maybe even build a home here before you guys move in or get married here. I just feel like this is someone who, um, they do think about the future. They do think long term. And this is someone who I feel like wants to do it by the book. Okay. Now with the four of cups, you may not, or is it them? I feel like maybe they don't always feel appreciated or they don't always feel understood here. I'm also seeing that maybe this person is someone who isn't necessarily exploring the connect the emotions that they feel for you. Maybe this is someone who is possibly like I feel like they're invested for you and I feel like they're they do feel emotions for you, but they could be in denial of the depths of this emotions, if that makes sense. So they know that they have feelings for you, but I feel like they're denying just how strong those feelings really are. Why? Because I feel like there's certain fears, there's certain insecurities here within their energy. I also feel like, yeah, this person has maybe low self-worth and they feel like this is too good to be true or you're out of their league here or, you know, they just, they, they don't feel good enough here. I feel like maybe they feel like they can't measure up as well to you here. Um... Look, but they do. I feel like they are invested, but they have to work through certain emotional patterns or behavioral patterns that otherwise will hinder this connection. I feel like this is someone who is a little bit intimidated by your energy because you are coming across as someone independent, as someone who is like secure within themselves and with their own energies and confident here. And that kind of intimidates them because they're not like that. In fact, they're a little bit the opposite. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is someone a little bit intimidated. And that intimidation is also perhaps, you know, what's keeping them guarded here. But look, I feel like with the six of cups, I mean, the six of 
wands, I do feel like this person wants to move forward with you, okay? Even if it's a slow burning move, okay, just keep in mind that sometimes a, a slow burn outlasts fireworks here. A lot of the times it does. So just because this person is taking their time, um, it, it's don't be too concerned. Purely because I feel like this person, you know, is someone who, because you do have a lot of earth energy and earth, earth energy typically is an energy that's stable, that's committed, you know, that's um, very dedicated. And I feel like this is someone who wants to build something long term with you. And this is why they want to get it right the first plate, the first time. So you guys, you know, don't happen to make any similar mistakes from the past here. But this is someone who wants, you know, they feel as though the two of you are heading in the right direction and they feel like the work that they've been doing on themselves here lately is going in the right direction. They're really happy with where things are here. They're really happy with how things are progressing with you here. I feel like this is someone who is very invested, as I've mentioned. This is someone who is um, very keen to see how, in particular, how this next, like, this next situation this next turn of events will uh, unfold here because this is someone who wants to move forward with you. There's a lot of movement in this connection, okay? So this is someone who they have an end goal in mind, okay? And I feel like some this person wants to essentially move in together, live together, create a life together. That's what I'm getting. And I know they're taking their time in getting there, but I feel like if the two of you do it right then I feel like this is something that could go the distance. This is something that could go the, lo you know, could go the long haul here. All right, guys, so these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye.